Greetings, welcome to another segment of Q Doma TV. And today, what is grinding my gears is basically what's going on into the world right now. I don't want to tell you exactly what's going on. I'm not saying exactly what I'm talking about this in, in a nutshell. You know, people are talking about this whole thing with this horrible tsunami and everything that happened. And look, I was like, like who gives a fuck? I'm sorry. Look, we need to worry about stuff here in this country, goddammit. Look, not to be mean or evil, but, you know, okay, it was a tragedy. It was horrible. But, you know, we need to stop talking about this kind of stuff. You know, we need to focus on something else right now. You know, look, it's news, and, you know, let the news people do whatever they need to do. Look, they need to put, you know, they need to put some real news on. You know, they need to set up there and, you know, talk about how we're going to fix stuff. You know, how we going to, you know, how we going to lower these dang on taxes. You know, yeah, that kind of stuff. That you know, that's the kind of you know, that's the kind of news I want to hear about. You know, I want to, you know, I want to hear how you gonna lower the price of the milk that I gotta buy when I'm at, you know, when I'm at the supermarket. I'm tired of paying three dollars for milk when you know milk was like only like two something. Like what the hell? Look, that damn dollar, you know, them dollars add up. Goddamn, you know, every time I go to the store and buy a gallon of milk. And, you know, I got to play three something. Because, you know, it's rising with the dang on gasoline. Bullshit! Look, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell y'all something right now. Look, I don't want to hear this bull crap about, you know, it's because of the stuff that's happening in the Middle East. Look, look the hell with this shit in the Middle East. Look, y'all people need to get y'all stuff under control. You know, look, if, look, if, you know, if people are not cooperating, Look, y'all need to make some compromises or something. I don't know. Look, look, tell them they can take take over the, you know, the territory, get US troops out of there or whatever. Look, whatever you deal you gotta make. You know, provided it is not, you know, like blowing us up or nothing like, you know, whatever the case be. Look, I'm tired of paying three dollars. I'm tired of paying three dollars. Look, even if you had to sit up there and set up a cable network show down there. And, you know, they show, you know, and they had people betting on people. You know, that you know that could be a good thing. That could be a good thing. Yeah, you know, go with me with this. You think about it. And you think about, you know, the what is going on down there. You know, I know this would be really hard and really horrible, you know, to set up there and have people bet on, like, you know, how many insurgents they can get rid of, you know. I'm going to tell you, it would be a multi-million dollar thing. And I'm going to tell you, you know, it would make, it would bring lots of money in. You would, you know, all you had to do is get a camera person, you know, pay him, you know, pay him enough money, give him or some type of incentive to go there. You know, you know, just find somebody crazy enough, you know, to do it. You know, one of these, I don't know, gun hole type guys or something, you know, maybe that's hooked up on drugs or something, you know, it, you know, we could work with that. But like I said, I'm tired of paying $3 for my milk. You know, that junk, that junk is, you know, that junk is annoying the hell out of me, you know. That, you know, I don't drive, so I don't, look, I don't give a rat's ass about the gas prices. What the hell with that? I don't drive no car. I walk and occasionally get rides, so, you know, I'm pretty much set. Like what you know, and I take public transportation. Yeah, buddy, that's right. I take magic transit. You know, not all the time. Only when I need to. At certain times. That's right. Only when I need to. But you know, I'm just saying. You know, stuff is. You know, stuff. You know, it's just crazy. You know, with every day. You know, I heard something really funny a while back. And this this was so funny. I, I you know, I don't I don't know how you know I don't know how true it is. I, I guess someone said something about they was going to shut down a social security building or something because the government said they didn't have money. Boo crap! I don't think so. The government got plenty of money. Look, I'm gonna tell you something. Government, if they want to, they can sit there and issue out. A mark just to set up there and make new money. You know, it's not, look, it, this, this is not an issue here. You know, look, this, look, all you need to do is you just need to stop pouring money into dumb stuff. 
Stop sitting there and putting more money into war shit. You know, take a big chunk of that war money, whatever, you know, and put it into something lucrative. Put it back into the economy, the fixed stuff. You know, that way, you know, we, you know, that way we don't have to deal with all the repercussions of later. I mean, and the bad thing about it is we already dealing with repercussions of later. You know, I'm up here, you know, I'm like setting, I'm like chilling, you know, in the room, like, you know, my girl, she come in, she shows me this magazine, she shows me this thing in Time Magazine, right? Is this, uh, this guy, right? I mean, he looks, you know, typical, average white male, whatever, you know, what have you. You know, he, you know, he has a, he has a wife, and I think he had a baby, I don't, I don't know, she had one on the way. I mean, say this was the picture, and this jump was taken before he killed her and himself. Look, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you who's to blame. I'm gonna tell you the, the government. Once again, the government. Look, I'm gonna tell you. If you all people, you know, don't see the warning signs. I mean, there's gonna be more of this. I can guarantee you, there is going to be more of this. You're gonna have more guys. That's killing, that's killing his wife, that's pregnant, or killing his kids. You're going to see more of this. You know, look, this is not something I have to turn on to watch on prime time. This is not something that you make up. This is a, a regular occurrence. You know, really, literally. I mean, you know, this junk is getting ridiculous. I mean, really, like, what, what the hell, you know? I mean, it's one thing, you know, when I would just hear about your usual stuff. You know, some, you know, some guy, well, I won't say some guy. You know, some teenage, you know, teenager decided to zap out and shoot, shoot like a couple of people or whatever. Okay, you know, I can, you know, I can deal with that. You know, that, you know, that's like, that's like, that's like whatever. That's regular, that's regular stuff. You know, people zapping out, you know, uh, you know, but, you know, one of the things is, when you see little lingers like that, that should tell you something right there. We really need to fix stuff here. Because that junk is just really jacked up. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is a tragedy. In a sense. But the thing about it is, you know, I'm just wondering. I'm just like wondering in my head. Like, I want to know really how bad it's going to get before it even gets any better. Literally. Because, I mean, the way they're painting the picture is, I mean, literally... They're not painting a picture of it. it's like it's actually getting better. It's more like you know we're on more like the country's on a dialysis machine. Like you know, it's like you got some. It's like you know you got like the the internal parts. It's like still breathing and junk. Like, <laughs> but you know, it's like the brain, like the brain, the the, the part that does. Like all the, the thinking and the good decisions, you know, that lead to everything else working. Is nobody home? You know, it is like, hello, is anyone home? Like, like do, 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 do. no, no, you know, nobody's there. Nobody's there. You know, it's empty in there. Like, what? You know, what, what's going on? You know, and as far as the president of the United States. Is going, you know, look, I don't got nothing personally against Barack Obama, you know, but, you know, unfortunately, you know, they, they said, they, you know, they painting that man into being literally the devil. I mean, like, what, I, I don't know, for better or worse. I, I don't put it to you like this. Well, let's say this, at least I'm glad Bush isn't still in there, but, you know, once again, I mean, but what you going to do, it's, he's a politician. I mean, politics is politics. You can't get around it. Now, I'm going to tell you something. You know, getting on this subject, you know, I mean, getting on this whole subject of politicians. I mean, you know, it would bring me, like, I mean, a breath of fresh air if you got a politician that said this. This comes out of my little devil's handbook. I'm going to tell you, is what it would be so lovely. And it would go like this. How refreshing it would be to hear a political candidate say, I don't believe in God, but in the protection of the citizens, 
health and safety. I plan on, pl on placing my friends in exclusive positions. I will pocket what funds I can and get away with. But see the rest is spent on necessary society, I mean, social improvements. You will have no voice in my decisions any more than you have ever had. And in, in concluding, you will have to access my judgment, which you will so long as you are reasonably comfortable have freedom of movement and opportunity for advancement. If I succeed in fooling the public, the public will have themselves to blame. For I warn you that I am a crooked, I am crooked as any politician can be. Despite my unsavory perfection, I will try to keep all you happy as possible. Well, what do you think about that? Yes, it'll be a cold day in hell when you see that one happen. Yeah, that's right. I'm telling you, you know, that would be awesome. If, you know, if we go little, like, you know, apologies and come out like, I'm a crook, I'm going to take company funds, and no one's going to stop me. You know, I'm going to be as sneaky as I can, you know. I tell you, you know, you'll, you'll never see it. It's just like, you know, it would be, like, unbelievable if, you know, you know, I'm still waiting for this one. Waiting for atheist president. Yeah, buddy. Atheist president. Yeah, what do you think about that one? Yeah. Atheist president. Or better yet, a lesbian president. Not a gay, not a gay president, because you know, it's kind of funny about that, you know. Like people, I think I think people would be I think people would be able to deal with a gay man, but I think people are still I don't know, I think people still got issues with with lesbians. I don't know. That's that's I mean this is just an opinion thing. I don't know. Someone someone hit me up on that one. You know, just because, you know, if you want to go back to that whole thing, you know, you know, men, men dominating the world, you know, that bull crap again, you know, that majority rule. Um, you know, I, like, you know, I just, you know, that would be, I mean, that would, that would like it. Or even better yet, you know, to actually get a president that's agnostic. Yeah. An agnostic president. You know, he does not have a main definition of God, you know, basically, you know, something, you know, something, you know, like that, you know, I have yet to see one like that. I mean, even though, you know, when you go back and you look at the old school presidents, I mean, the old, old school presidents, you know, they jump was crazy, but I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, like that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that right there, I would, uh, you know, I, you know, I would be looking forward to that. You know, another thing, another thing, I know this is really terrible, I know, you know, you think, well, as bad as the economy, and, you know, and I don't know why I think like this. Maybe this is because I'm just sick and twisted, and I really need help. You know, I'm just waiting for it, you know, and, you know, as much as I want stuff to get bad, I mean, get better, Whoops, did I say get bad? Oh my goodness. I must be losing my mind over here. Yeah, I said get bad. Um, as much as I want stuff to get better, yeah, it's better. Any better. Uh, you know, it's just like there is a part of me deep down inside that just like wonders, like, what would happen? Hypothetically, if everything just went the hell in the handbasket. You can't tell me that some of y'all do not think about it. If it just all went to shit, literally, I mean, all collapse. It's like it's like it's like saying like if all of a sudden everyone decided to be honest one day, you know, but everything just went like ah, you know, just went down, you know, went down. To, it's just like I don't know. It's like you getting your butt pumped, and you never knew, and you know, you didn't know he was getting your butt pumped. And you know, all of a sudden, the person tell you like, you know what? You know, I'm fucking you, but you know, I'm telling you about it. Oh my goodness! It's like, I mean, it. It's like the dream come true. It's like, it, you know, it would be like Tank Girl, you know, freaking post apocalyptic. You know, like, like I'm gonna tell you, you know, yeah, that's what I'm waiting for it to get like. You know, if if it has to get worse, 
if it just got to go like full blown disaster, look, I'm just look. You might as well. I'm taking the option. Just make make it post apocalyptic. You know, you know, people fighting over resources. You know, people there ain't no money. You know, with Jack stuff is destroyed. There ain't no goddamn government. You know, uh, you know, you know, people. People surviving off the skin of their teeth, literally. You know, with guns and this, you know, literally. I mean, you just got to just survive. You know, survival of the fittest. You know, take it back to old school, but still with some advanced technology. You understand what I'm saying? You know, and as far as like, you know, the whole work ethic, everything is gone. Just gone. You know, you don't got to worry about, you don't have to worry about finding a job no more. You know, because now your job, your main job is just to survive. You know, to hope somebody don't kill your ass. Hope somebody don't take your food. Someone, hope you don't get raped. There's no more cops, no more police officers, no more firefighters to come put out your fire when you accidentally left the stove on in your house and you left and you went to work and decided to go to somebody's party and drink your ass silly. You know, basically. You know, they're like all that stuff is all gone. No more government. No more taxes. You know, you don't have to worry about bills coming in the mail. Open the, you know, you know, worrying about the IRS coming for you. You know, garnishing your wages. You know, all that good stuff because you don't got no wages now no more. Anything you find is yours. There's no more Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam is gone. Yeah, that, that's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for that to happen. I'm waiting for all that junk just to go to hell. <coughs> yeah, I'm telling you. I mean, I mean that's that that's that small, you know, that's that small, sadistic, you know, this evil, this destructive nature part of myself. That you know, like if I just gotta, if it just gotta go bad, just let it go post-apocalyptic. You know, I'll be good to go. I think, I'm just hoping, hoping for the most part that, you know, you know, that I'll be able to survive, you know, you know, given the circumstances. And, you know, that's, you know, that's the only, that's the only, that's my only qualm. 